My name is Adina Levin, and we are going to do a trash to craft project. Today, we are going to take your junk mail and your bills and make them beautiful. We're going to make paper, and all you need are a few simple things. You need a place where you can actually strain your pulp, a blender, and a drying, draining area. So first, I'm going to actually rip some of my bills and your junk mail, whatever paper you have laying around the house. I'm going to pour some water into the blender, and then you blend. So depending on how thick you want your paper, your blending times will vary. So I'm just going to pour it into my bin. You're going to take your screen, which you can use an old frame, you can use anything that obviously has space in the center is perfect. But the important thing is, is to make sure that you're sealing the edges so that the pulp doesn't bleed out from under it. Put your frame inside and you're going to place your fingers inside the frame and move the pulp around. Allow the pulp to lay into the mesh screen. Depending on the thickness of the paper that you want, you want to lift up your screen and you'll see what it looks like and from there you can decide whether you want to dunk it back in or move on to the next step. Now I have this little tin here, you can use a cookie sheet. I have this little tool that I bought at the paint store for a dollar and I like to just drain the water a little bit by gently rolling over the pulp. And this is where you can actually add texture to it. Um, in this form it's almost like clay. Some of my pulp is lifting off the screen and what you can do is go back into your pulp mix and you can actually add to it and kind of work with your fingers and mold it back into the paper. It's very forgiving. And now I'm going to put this absorbent towel over my little pulp mixture and I'm just going to press it down into the frame making sure that I'm very careful because I don't want to lift the pulp off of the screen yet. I just want to kind of drain any excess water. And then gently peel back the cloth and if you get any little holes, again, you can just fill it in with the pulp. Now I'm going to take a piece of cloth and I'm going to transfer it onto this cloth. What I'm doing is I'm taking the piece that I'm going to dry on and I'm actually like making it adhere to this piece so that when I turn it over, it'll lift, it'll be sticking more to this piece than it is to the screen. And then you flip over the screen and what I like to do is scratch the screen. So now you have your piece of paper. I love the way this looks. It'll take a little bit of time to dry, so just set it down. And after it's done drying, you will have your very own pretty paper, which you can cut down, do whatever you want with. That's how you make paper.